The match day 3 of the Champions League is over. What a day we had! Manchester United disgraced themselves in Turkey, PSG lost to Leipzig, Sevilla made a fantabulous comeback, Ronaldo returned and helped Juventus gain in a comfortable win, Holland carried Borussia on his shoulders again, and Barcelona was almost stopped by an 18-year-old super talent of Dynamo Kiev. Friends, are you still looking for the Daily Football News channel? Here we are then! All that is needed from you is to subscribe and click the bell button. We are the most informative football channel on YouTube. Guys, who do you think is the main favorite of the Champions League right now? Write your opinion in the comments below. Now, smash like to this video because we are about to start! Messi had his 150th appearance in European competitions. On the whole, he scored 121 goals, only Ronaldo has more, a staggering number of 133 goals. Ronaldo takes part in his 18th consecutive Champions League season. Only Casillas had a longer run of 20 straight seasons. Holland has made it to 14 goals in 11 games in the Champions League. The 20-year-old striker has caught up Ronaldo and Adriano in the number of goals in this tournament. Ter Stegen saved Barca from other goals. We need to have a better play without the ball, proclaimed Ronald Koeman after the match with Dinamo. Sevilla is the first in the history of the Champions League to win the match, having lost the first half and being a man down in the second. All of Messi's goals this season occurred from the penalty spot. Four of them helped Barcelona, one of them was useful to Argentina's national team. Real Madrid and Ramos have started negotiations on a new contract. The defender wants to stay in the club until 2024. Alaba will leave the club, but will also spend the whole season at Bayern. When such a player leaves for free, it's a failure, said the sporting director of the Munich club, Hassan Salihamidzic. Sergio Ramos is the best defensive striker in the world, claims Mesut Ozil. Kuman can be disqualified from 2 to 12 matches for criticizing the VAR after the Classico. I want you to get well as soon as possible. A big hug. This is how Lionel Messi supported Diego Maradona, who underwent brain surgery. Lewandowski dedicated his double against Red Bull to Gerd Müller. He had recently turned 75. Chelsea haven't conceded a goal for the first time since 2010 in five games in a row. Chelsea's newbie Eduard Mendy does a hell of a good job. I never had any doubts whether to resign the contract with Barca or not. It was a matter of time when we agreed with the club. I'm happy here, said Ter Stegen after the match with Dinamo. Barcelona is a dead team. It is very static. Nobody runs when the team possesses the ball, nobody runs when the opponent attacks. Their goals are the individual merit of players. That is how the legendary Argentina next footballer Mario Campos summed up the game with Dinamo. Borussia is confident that Holland will renew the current contract with the club, which expires in the summer of 2024. Only four clubs have 100% points scoring after three Champions League rounds – Liverpool, Barcelona, Manchester City and Bayern. 18-year-old Dynamo Kiev goalkeeper Ruslan Nesheret made 12 saves against Barcelona. No shot stopper in the current season of the Champions League has dealt with so many saves. Just bravo! Real Madrid's Rodrigo is the first-ever born player in the 21st century with five goals in the Champions League. It's the first time Liverpool starts its Champions League season with three shutouts on the group stage. UEFA has no plans to change the format of Euro 2020. They want to hold up the tournament in 12 cities with the fans in the stands. Former Real Madrid goalkeeper Iker Casillas commented on the fact that captain of Madrid Sergio Ramos scored his 100th goal in the club. 100 goals for a defender? Unbelievable! My congratulations, Sergio, wrote Casillas. Pepe has agreed his contract with Porto until 2024. Now the captain is 37 years old. We have to beat Liverpool if we want to fight for the Premier League, said Manchester City striker Gabriel Jesus. Milan's strength is in the balance. We are young, but we play in an adult way, said Milan head coach Stefano Pioli. Scholes had a say on the first goal of Basak Shahir against Manchester United. This is like children playing teams under 10. 
Havertz tested positive for coronavirus. The player was sent to self-isolation. Diogo Jota just came out of nowhere and made his way to the best team in the world, Liverpool, said Benfica head coach Jorge Jesus. Manchester United have won only one of their last four matches. Next stop is an away game with Everton. The results of the last two Manchester United matches are such a punch in the stomach, said Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Friends, we are to quickly introduce you to all the results of yesterday's Champions League and move on to the main news. Matches review. Let's go! Chelsea and Sevilla are on the way of dealing with their matters in Group E. The aristocrats confidently beat Ren at home 3-0. Werner scored twice from the penalty spot, another goal is on the account of Abraham. Besides, it is worth mentioning the second penalty appointed in the 41st minute. Would you put an 11-meter here and give a yellow card to the Ren player Dalbert? In another match of the group, Sevilla made a real show, losing to Krasnodar with a score of 0-2 and playing a man down until the end of the first half. Then the hosts managed to win thanks to Rakitic's goal and the double by Nesri. That's what we call an impressive comeback. Borussia Dortmund is in the lead in Group F. The Hornets dealt with Brugge in an away match 3-0. Erling Haaland became the main character of the game. The Norwegian scored a brace and another goal was made by Torgan Azar. In another match of the group, Zenit and Lazio parted with a tie of 1-1. The Romans responded to Yerohin's goal with an accurate shot from Caicedo in the 82nd minute. There were no sensations in Group G. Barcelona and Juventus gained 3 points each. However, how different these fights were. The old lady beat Ferenc Varos in a stylish way. 1-4. Morata's double, Dybala's goal and Dvali's own goal. Ronaldo played in the start in 11 and was noted with an assist. Those were an easy 3 points for Andrea Pirlo's team. Barcelona in turn had to sweat decently in the match with Dinamo Kiev. The Catalans scratched a difficult victory over the Ukrainian club. 2-1. First, Messi earned a penalty and converted it himself. In the 65th minute, Pique netted from Fatih's cross. And in the 75th, Tsigankov reduced the gap of Dinamo to a minimum. It is worth noting the excellent play of two shot stoppers. Ter Stegen made six saves and saved Barcelona three times after going full 1-1, one and, one, and the 18-year-old Dinamo goalkeeper Ruslan Nesheret shocked the world with his performance. 12 saves in his first game in the Champions League, and even in none other place than at Camp Nou. Check out this reflected free kick from Messi, even Alisson would be jealous. Separately, it is worth pointing out Antoine Griezmann's moment, who managed to miss from a killing position. Nevertheless, it all ended with a happy ending for Barca. The result remains, the game will be forgotten. After the match, Dinamo's head coach Mircea Luchescu asked Messi for his jersey and Leo agreed. In Group H, two unexpected results took its place at once. Basak Shahir at home was a bit stronger than Manchester United. 2-1. Just check out the play of Manchester United's defense at the first conceded goal. This is a real disgrace. Dembaba and Visca scored goals for Istanbul. Solskjaer's team responded only with an accurate shot from Martial. In another match, Leipzig beat PSG, which was without Neymar, Mbappe and Icardi. Di Maria opened the scoreline. In the 16th minute, Angel had to double the score but didn't convert the penalty. After that, Nkunku and Forsberg decided the outcome in favor of Red Bull. The final victory was 2-1. Nagelsmann defeated to Hill. The Parisians had two sent-offs along the way. In the 69th minute, Gaia went to rest, and in the 95th minute, Kim Pembe was the one to leave the pitch. After a played match day, the table of the tournament looks like this. Guys, what do you think? Which of the club giants may not qualify for the knockout stages? Friends, follow Inside Football Channel, the video is in front of you. It was, as always, football news. Have a nice one and see you in a bit!